Hello, this is Kenny Moore from TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile device users by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 Refresh. In this video, we will explore a warning encountered when using the excellent free PDF Accessibility Checker Pack 2. And the warning is this one. Possibly inappropriate use of a structure element. The category of this warning is logical structure, structure tree. The failure condition in the Matterhorn protocol reads, the structure type and attributes of a structure element are not semantically appropriate for the structure element. The video will demonstrate this suggestion for resolving this warning using Adobe Acrobat Pro, and the demo will utilize this example PDF, which if you would like to, you're free to download and you can use to practice fixing this warning. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded, so I can click start. And you can see I get the cautionary yellow triangle. This PDF contains warnings, potential accessibility problems. So I can click the report button, drill down to the warning. And if I click on the warning, it shows me the location of the problem in the document. Now, the message of this warning, possibly inappropriate use of a figure structure element, that is pretty vague. And it could refer to uh, any of a number of things. But in my experience, this warning is almost always due to the placement attribute. A figure tag is innately an inline element. Uh, which means it should be nested under another tag, like a figure tag. I'm sorry, like a paragraph tag. Uh, to use it as a block element, I need to explicitly set the placement attribute to block. Uh, now, I, I typically do see this error with figure tags, uh, but you may also see it with a form tag or a formula tag or a note tag. Those are all innately inline tags that are sometimes used as block. In Acrobat Pro, I'm going to open the Tags pane. And right here is the figure tag that's giving us trouble. So I'm going to right click it, Properties. And in the Object Properties dialog, I'll click the Edit Attribute Objects button. And I'll expand things, and I can see that there is an attribute object dictionary uh, already in place. That's where the placement attribute needs to go. Now, if that wasn't there, I would click New Item to create one. And I just created one that I don't need, so I'm going to delete it. So I'll click on the Attribute Object Dictionary. I'll click New Item. And the key that I want is Placement. The value is block, B-L-O-C-K. I'll click OK. OK again, and that should do it. I'm going to, as always, save as a new file name, uh, because in Acrobat Pro, sometimes something goes horribly wrong, and I need a way to backtrack to my previous uh, file. Back in Pack 2, I can load the remediated PDF, click Start, and success. I have the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. This is Kenny Moore. Please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.